Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And we're still on Candyverse and what she feels about some questions that Rachel or um I think her name is Rachel from Rachel Rants on TMZ. Um when she was interviewing Candy and she was asking her different questions that, you know, most people wanted to hear and get more knowledge on. So, yes, y'all know they were freaking frat, the first freaking frat before Portia and Phaedra became freaking frat number two. Oh, I guess we can say thing one, thing two, <laughs> however you want to see it. But welcome to the channel, y'all. We're going to um, try to dive into why everybody thinks Candy has so much power and uh, basically from keeping Phaedra coming back from the show. But anybody that saw that whole season play out. Well, the lie that Phaedra said Carlos King had told her, she told Portia. And, of course, Portia leaked it to the world. And it was all fabricated. And technically, I don't even really know why Candy didn't seek legal, le what do you call it, litigation against Phaedra for that awful lie. Or reporting her to the Bar Association. But maybe she did and maybe nothing came out of it. Maybe a slap on the wrist for Phaedra or whatever. But... Phaedra lost her platform on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But child, Candace being so shady, so shady, so shady. And like I've always told people that were watching my YouTube channel, I don't care how much money Candy can get after she leave Real Housewives of Atlanta, they're going to have to throw Candy out of Real Housewives of Atlanta because she ain't coming out without them doing just that. She ain't walking off this platform and she has a lot of people that want to stand up for her and say, Candy don't need this show, Candy don't need this show. And you're probably right, she might not need it, but she's going to stay on the show because she know where her bread is buttered and toasted and she likes the flavor, okay? So the whole incident about Candy uh, would leave Immediately, if they chose to bring Phaedra back, well, a little birdie told me that ain't going to ever happen. Candy leave on her own accord or whatever. Then they can do what they want to do. But it's so much litigation that would go on and Bravo would be sitting smack dab in the middle or why they didn't protect Candy and her best interest from these lies. But yet they wanted to publicize it and make her look awful and uh, not credible and damaging to her uh, so-called career that she was trying to make out there in the entertainment world. So they were old um, Candy a lot. So and that's what she knows. That's why she's so uh, deadly or reckless at the mouth by saying, oh yeah, I would leave if they brought her back. Because she know what she would um, most likely do to Bravo. Um, so, like I said, um, she was very upset. And she's still upset. Should she be? I guess in theory she can. But if she practiced forgiveness and stuff of that nature... She shouldn't. And she, this is another topic she should never talk about again because we have heard it over and over again. We know what happened. We know what could have happened to her career. And she could have bought, uh, saw some jail time as well if anything came up uh, from it that was accurate and that they could prove that um, Todd and Candy were going to do that to Portia. But, of course, everything seem to have washed out in the water even candy canceled the notion and she made money off of the idea same idea that was supposed to defame her she turned around and made money off of it so i mean you can do whatever you say whatever it's just you know it doesn't really matter because it's like water under the bridge with uh, Candy's way of thinking is still fresh and the wound is still very much open but I think um, of course we all know Paulo was doing some crazy things and who's to say Phaedra knew something about what he was doing and didn't I personally think she did she just turned a blind eye and hopefully he hopefully he wouldn't get caught doing what he was supposed to not been doing um, but anyway and uh, Phaedra called herself getting mad because Ken did not take up for her and they were more so on Apollo's side. And of course, you know, Apollo and Todd were really close because Todd didn't have too many friends down here in Atlanta. So when he was hanging with Greg 
and Apollo. You know, they were like the three musketeers in a sense. So they kind of took up for each other. But uh, Todd knew where his bread was bored, brother and uh, buttered, and that was with candy. So he wasn't finna change anything to mess up his uh, life of living and his custom to living a certain lifestyle. So pretty much their relationship ended when Candace ended with Phaedra. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it was kind of crazy because actually something good came out of it. Uh, Phaedra introduced uh, Candace to Todd because Todd didn't want to step his pussy up. And try to talk to Candy when he had the opportunity. So, uh, Phaedra pretty much spearheaded that. That's why I said, well, maybe she thought about that. And maybe that's why she didn't go after uh, Phaedra in court or uh, sought litigation. Because she felt sorry for, you know, uh, the boys. Uh, Phaedra, two children. And she knows she didn't stand up for uh, um, Phaedra when it was time for her to I guess seek litigation uh, from Apollo or what not and she kind of got mad and probably did some things you know it's all hearsay we don't know all of this allegedly just a lot of stuff was spewed in the news and you know Phaedra wasn't uh, doing too good with trying to silence anything when it came to uh, Apollo and things of that nature but when the heat was on her know she wasn't saying too much of nothing and nobody was there for her defense uh but Portia and we see that uh Portia kind of cut ties with Phaedra as well uh but Portia should have been actually <clears throat> gone as well uh for believing a story like that and then bringing it out on public tv so but you know the the, the uh we call it the company showed her uh, favor and they care for her. just said well she's stupid she thirsty there's no sense of blaming her because she has like a child state mind she had fully matured and developed so she was just like caught in the middle and she felt that her life was in danger or you know what I'm saying she could play the victim card as well so that's probably why they said now nah, we're just going to keep her and hopefully wean her out and at this time they have weaned her out by giving her that sorry ass show that they knew was going to have a lot of um blowback and they knew she wasn't going to be able to handle it and with them showing that they helped her try to do a show but she couldn't stand on the show on her own and it became a, a huge failure they can't, you know, it's like, you know, we had you out there. We were holding and hoping that your show would do good, but it didn't. And we had to cut you. I mean, you could be a friend of the show or, you know, you can go on to Greener Pastures. So it's kind of, it's almost like they're washing their hands of Portia uh, with True and Original, True Entertainment, however you see Bravo Network. But, um, yeah, Candy is pretty much holding their feet to the fire. And she has the ace in a hole, or she has the whole deck where it's in her favor. So, cheers to Phaedra for um, not being put in prison or disbarred. And cheers for Candy for holding Bravo hostage or holding them by the balls uh, and not letting Phaedra come back to the show. So, it's almost like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you are... Preventing Phaedra from coming back from the sh to the show, Candy. Um, so don't make like Phaedra don't have anything else to give uh, to the show. Or people don't want her back now, cause Candy, if you were over it or you don't, you know, like I said, you made money off of it. Uh, that was supposed to be defaming your character. Why not let Phaedra come back? Stop trying to stop her back. Because quiet as this cab lies, I'm going to speak it out. They're saying, you're running for a favor. you always saying, you don't want that. She don't want that smoke from you. But I'm like, girl, mm, I don't know. Because you could have been single still. So, I mean, look at your blessings. You got Todd interested in you. And, you know, he's probably seeing way, way in the future how he could possibly use you. And then discard you. 
or later on down in life. Hopefully it's not going to come to that. Maybe he's seen uh, to understand your lifestyle, understand you. But I don't know. Todd got that still spirit is everything is yours, 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 and he has nothing, you know. So I I don't know, I'm with Aunt Bertha. My I'm kinda still uh on the fence with Todd and how your relationship gonna work out past the time frame that you probably gave him in your uh contractual um uh, we call it prenup. I don't know how many years he had to be married to you or stay with you. But if he supersedes that, then, yeah, he can drop you like a bad hot potato if he wanted to. A uh, bag of hot potatoes. But it's not neither here nor there. You got what you want. You got two beautiful kids. You got a step ch uh, child out of it. Um, and it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully your marriage will work and y'all be grandpa and grandma sitting up on, you know, somebody's uh, porch swinging. And, you know cackling about what y'all used to do when y'all were young and dumb and having fun all that kind of stuff y'all gonna be reminiscing in y'all old age but uh yeah uh candy did an interview with rachel uh on her platform rants by rachel hosted by tmz and she had a lot to say uh about phaedra coming back and how she would feel if phaedra came back so let's take a little listen because i told y'all what i felt about it I think Candace being petty, she needs to move on. And, you know, hey, ask for the biggest paid salary you can get if they brought Phaedra back on. Because then you could just drag her for Phil and ever seen a child be, you know, in. That would be good TV, in a sense. Where y'all don't put hands on each other, but y'all can say whatever y'all want to say without fighting. You see what I'm saying? And we can, and Phaedra can be exposed for more things that you would probably bring out on tv that she would have to either recant or she had to like lean into it and give us some understanding of why she acted this way you see what i'm saying girl that would be a number one show so i think you're missing out candy by not letting her come back and then demanding bravo to pay you top top dollar because you say they always give y'all a little bump in your uh paycheck with each season you know what i'm saying just because Girl, you could be a billionaire fooling with Bar Bravo with bringing Phaedra back. Girl, the ratings would go through the roof. And then we could see how you can combat uh, these issues that you've been definitely holding in because of how Phaedra did you. Because you thought that was your girl. You thought that was your ace boom coon. I know it because I still remember you being so excited with her uh finishing mortuary school and you were going up there you know to her graduation this that and the third and you know y'all the real true freaking friend i know that hurt you i know that hurt you to your bone but you got to keep in mind if it wasn't for ti being in jail at the time and him telling tiny she he didn't want her on real housewives of atlanta you wouldn't be there candy so a lot of people opened some doors for you and some opportunity that that they passed up so you could shine so in other words i think you gonna be owing Tamika a lot in the near future because you've made a lot uh because technically we could have been seeing Tamika on Real Housewives of Atlanta you see what I'm saying so Candy don't always think you have the golden gate or you have to be the gatekeeper to keeping people out you know don't block your blessings in other words let that woman eat. If she wants to come back, meaning Phaedra, to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, let her come back, girl. And then just drag her for filth every scene you could possibly be in. Okay, you can ask her, have you been sending inspection people to my restaurant to give me bad ratings? Or um, are you hiding any more money from the government? Just shit like that, girl. I would be there for that, all right? But it is what it is. Let's go on and listen to this interview. Uh, with Rachel Rance is tricky with Candy Burris explaining herself on why why or oh why she would not be down with Bravo bringing Phaedra Parks back to the show okay hold on I just finished season 14 that's my 13th season and well, when it come out that'll be 13 seasons for me so I said as long as they rocking with me I'm gonna rock with them because it's still like I'm still able to do other things I'm passionate about, so it's not like it's stopping me from doing nothing else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, why wouldn't I? And if when they mix up people and bring people back, what if they brought Phaedra back? Would you still be on the show? No. Oh, that's it. 
Then you're out of here. I mean, I just, it's just like, I just don't think she and I need to interact. You know what I mean? I let her do her thing. When they decide to do that, then, you know. <laughs> let her do her you'll, thing. Okay, you'll be like, okay, I'm out of here. Yeah. It's nice knowing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better choose up. And choose, it's not even about making nobody making the choices because she's on, you know, other shows or whatever. So I'm like, No, but they said that thing. the rumors were like she wants to come back, you know. I don't know what she want to do. We ain't talk. Yeah, and you know, and you know, and that 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 one that situation is not fixable. It's no, it's not there. fixable. No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know what, Phaedra, it's tricky. <laughs> like the show title, it's tricky. <laughs> it's you know, I just feel like you know, at a certain point, you know, you cut ties with people, and y'all can just keep them cut. You don't have to always try to mend fences. You know what I mean? True. Let her do what she's doing. You know, I wish her the best of luck in all her endeavors or whatever, but we just don't need to interact. Speaking of which, I was thinking, I just read an article about you and Marlo had some... Oh, uh, this season? Yeah. It did. It did. A lot? It was bad. Well, first off, you know, throughout the season, she was like, you know, like, coming at me about little stuff that I was just like, why she, why she coming at me with that? Or whatever. Which, at first, I was like, okay, she tripping, you know, saying little stuff here and there. But it really wasn't that that set it off. We were... I don't know if I'm supposed to say all this, but we was... um on a cash trip or whatever mm-hmm. and it was something she was talking to somebody else really and mm-hmm. then i had made a comment and then she started coming at me crazy and it just went it just went crazy like we were just real disrespectful to each other it just went but y'all didn't have no fights though no no i didn't go physical because it wasn't Candy a physical know, if for all those people don't know candy has whooped a lot of ass you know ah. i learned this <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know about that whooping on no ass, but it just is what it is, okay? Uh, but, yeah, that's what she said about Phaedra. Um, it's, it's irreconcilable differences. They would never get back together. This, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, wow, wow. So, what do y'all think about that? With Candace saying, well, like I said, being the gatekeeper of, uh-uh, Phaedra can't come back. She come back, I'm gone. Which she knows she has... Um, Bravo by the balls and they know and she know so we don't know so we're just speculating we're just allegedly saying things over here but hey where there's smoke there's fire and um <coughs> like i said maybe they'll give um uh, go on and give candy her just do put her behind the scenes and then she don't necessarily have well she won't be taping with phage or any of that situation but it seems like yeah and you being a little thirsty, Bucky. You being a little thirsty, you're trying to stop somebody bad instead of coming on on this show, making good television here, and letting Phaedra leak out some of her indiscretions. Okay, uh, but you know maybe probably have to you know edit certain things to look a certain way so they don't be you know kept by the throat because Ken already got them by the ball, so probably don't need to be caught by the throat let Frazier wanted to do something on them because they let something air and show and it was more than likely defaming her character if it did if it worked out that it wasn't true so y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about candy saying uh no 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 on Phaedra coming back <laughs> So that child won't let nothing go she made money off of the defamation of her character but yet she won't let Miss Southern Bell come back and shine. <laughs> so cheers to you, Phaedra. I don't think that's gonna be a doable situation just as long as Candy's running things over there and definitely reminding them of how bad the situation could have gotten with them airing the shit on the show. And, you know, salute to Candy for, you know, being smart enough to recognize how you can put people by the balls and make them do things that they necessarily would not do. Okay, but it just is what it is. Cheers all around, and I'll see y'all next video. Good night.